bounce also. Two slips in place waiting for uh, an edge in Zaman Al Haq in first slip. It's Yasser Hamid who is with him. Every ball will be cheered. Not only by the uh, players out there in the center, but also by the huge crowds here. Two men on the onside in the ring, three on the off. Two slips in place for an edge. They're playing the catch here. It seemed like he was beaten by a long way cut. Rudy Kurtzin raises the finger. No disappointment shown by Saurav Ganguly. So you would suspect there was an edge. And India have lost their first wicket. That of the captain in the first over. Big match. What a strike from Mohammed Sami. Saurav Ganguly will be a touch disappointed with this. He just carried on bowling in that channel. Wayward. There was a little bit of width. He does like uh, that width. Umpire Rudy Kurtzson took his time to adjust that in favor of Pakistan. Early loss for India, one for one. Yes, Sami. Gets off the mark. Back the first runs of the bat. Two for one of the first over. Gets off the mark. He's going to come back for the second. Extremely good running. Sevat now exactly 3,000 in one day cricket. Great entertainer. Great talent. He'll be important today for India. 12th Indian batsman to get 3,000 runs in one day cricket. The strike rate of 94.9, that's his career strike rate. That's very striking. End of the over, 6 for 1. Gone, straight to hand. Just going Pakistan's way at the moment. They picked up that dangerous wicket of Saru Ganguly in the first over. And this looked like a good shot, but straight to the field, second wicket down. Well, two wickets gifted to Pakistan. First one by Saurav Ganguly, a loose shot outside the off stump, and this one, a nothing shot in the end from VVS Laxman. He knew that the fielder was positioned there to stop a run, not in a catching position. He'd be uh, very disappointed with that, not being able to keep the ball down. India, 10 for 2. Good delivery. Just a bit too high, I thought. Umpire Simon Toffel having a close look at that one. Now, Rana Navidul Hassan is exerting pressure on the opposition here. He's pulling within the stumps. A little bit of movement also. A little high, definitely on the higher side. Would have gone on to miss the stumps by a long way. So, good decision. Well played. That came down nice and straight on that one. Couple of runs. This is a good start from Mohammed Kat. A very good shot on a seeming track. You don't want to hit the ball hard. You've got to time it and play with a straight one. And this one was beautifully demonstrated by Mohammed Kat. Just a mere push through mid on. Five was gone. Oh, it's a misfield. Abdul Razak, the man at mid on. Two bonus runs for India. We'll take it very gladly. 15 for two, India. Abdul Razak slipped. Mohammed Sami thinking that it will be stopped by Mohammed Abdul Razak. That misfield uh, obviously brought a lot of joy to the Indians. Took a bit of a chance there, Mohamed Kaya, but it's come good. Or has it gone all the way? Now, 
Boundary signal by Simon Tofu. Very good shot from Ahmad Kat. He allowed the first bouncer from Rana Navidul Hassan to go through in his last over. This time he was in control. No one there. Safe shot. In fact, a very good shot. Top edge-ish, but it did the job. That's a beautiful bowling. Tell you one thing. I think when he does get thrown the ball, when he starts to mark his run out, then I think we'll hear some noise. This is another good delivery. And this is good, disciplined bowling from Pakistan. Right areas, giving the ball a chance to do things. It looks they all are geared up and they're playing according to the plan. This full delivery goes straight to the fielder. And Shoaib Malik, one of the best fielders in Pakistan's side, got the catch. What a wicket for Pakistan. The danger man goes. Well, Sohag's poor form continues. Taken at mid wicket. The ball that was there to be put away. I think it just shows you the lack of confidence the man has at the moment. This is a very, very good player. And there's one man there, and he's picked it out. And that's where his strength is, Sehwag. He's very strong leg side, but uh, that's the luck. Danger man goes, Sehwag goes for 10. India struggling, 28 for 3. Drot. Freedy. Usually very safe. Very, very safe. I think he just took his eye off the ball at the last minute. This went straight to Shahid Afridi. One of the simplest catches. It wasn't a great delivery. Laid on the up. And there, just dropped it. It was a dolly. That's the way it should be played. Well, how often do you see that? Batsman gets a life, next ball goes for four. Who wants to be a bowler? Yeah, I think it happened lots of time to me or to you as a bowler. Somebody gets dropped and suddenly next ball, bam, four runs. And that is a top shot from Mohamed Kaif. Shot of a length, back foot punch. And no need to run for that. Well... That could go all the way to the boundary. Taking evasive action. That's four leg buys. Nothing wrong with that. It's four more to the total and much needed by India. There was a top bouncer from uh, Mohamed Sami. Kaf has no time. He had no time to get out of, out of it. And it was a quick delivery. 85 miles per hour. But again, it's gone to the boundary. Leg by four runs. Doesn't matter how they come, as long as they come. Last looking shots, just uh, timed. Won't reach the boundary, there's a bit of teamwork going on out there. And they'll pick up three. Yes, it's a good time for Rahul Dravid uh, to be batting. Plenty of overs left, uh, India have lost three early wickets. It's a kind of situation that will suit his style of play. And India need one man to bat through this innings. They need a partnership desperately. Fine shot. Just a little bit of width. That's all it needs when you've got quality batsmen at the other end. And it brings the 50 up for India in the 16th over. Now this is well played. Right on top of the bounds. He's played it late. In many ways, use the pace of the bowler. To get it square of the wicket and into the boundary. Now it's going to come down to the ah! keeper's end. There's just that little bit of hesitation. Raul Dravid didn't respond quickly. Mohamed Kaif would have thought originally he was the man going to the danger end. But because Dravid started so slowly, 
And the fielder was able to see that. It was uh, Dravid who was always going to be the man under pressure. And I think, well, looks as though he's just made it, but it was touch and go for a while there. Touch and go, direct hit, was what was required. probably more in Khan uh, could have done was probably collect the ball uh, before the stumps but the problem was that he was running in towards the stumps he's a keeper it's not that he's standing next to the stumps when the uh, fielder is throwing the ball he had to come running in uh, had he collected that ball a little ahead of the stumps probably would have gained a frame and uh, and a wicket as well the travels comfortably in Very close. Tell you that for free. It's uh, not out. And it's a leg by. He's not a big spinner of the ball, so there's always a chance that the ball might just skid on and hit the stumps. It was a big stride forward by Mohamed Kev. And that is close because it's pitched in line. Well, that's going to reach the boundary. There are three men in the deep on the onside there. And although the balls just seem to stay on the pitch a little longer than anticipated, Dravid adapted well and middled it. Hit it very sweetly indeed. That is a good shot because he had to place the ball here to the boundary. He had ample time to get out of that back foot, but there was a man in the deep, long on, as well as a deepish mid-wicket. That's another good shot. He's found the gap there because there were two men behind square on that offside. Afridi has dropped just too short for both those uh, successive deliveries. Now Dravid is saying thank you very much. And this is just the kind of over that uh, as a batting side when you've lost early wickets uh, you need to gain some momentum. To send a message to the opposition as well. As, uh, as to say there's a partnership building. Just have to settle for two this time. It's been a very good over for India. It's 73 for three. Oh, a bird. It certainly paid off for Sir Bakhtar. He didn't mind waiting, or he certainly doesn't mind waiting now to bowl that delivery. Whatever it was that distracted Mohammed Kaif, he's paid a penalty for it now because that one. It's a thin little nick, it's a thin little edge straight into the gloves and India have lost another wicket. Well, this is a pacey delivery. I think the fastest delivery Shoy Bakhtar has bowled. It surprised KF, extra bounce for the fast bowler as well. Moin Khan making no mistake. And Pakistan getting the breakthrough once again, just at the right time. KF, who was looking good, departs for 27, 73 for 4. It's a double strike in this over by Shoaib Akhtar. Pakistan are cock a hoop. And uh, these supporters of theirs in the crowd could be jumping up and down for some hours, yet this has got Pakistan into a mighty strong position. Yuvraj Singh, come and gone in a hurry today. Well, it's a uh, short of a man, short of runs. Now, this is too early in his innings to attempt a shot of that nature. Especially against someone uh, bowling with his tail up. A double blow for Pakistan here. Shoaib Akhtar striking twice in this over. India have lost half their side and now in dire straits. 73 for 5. Hesitation. Direct hit. Well, great piece of fielding, Remy's. I think it was Shweb Malik. Who was still grounded? Finally gets up. Let's see how close this one is. Oh, this is going to be close. It's going to be tight. Oh, he might just have got it in, but he's very lucky. He makes a big mistake here. It doesn't slide the bat in. Now, if he slid the bat in there, it's all over, but he has to put it down. I tell you what, this is going to be tight. It's amazing that's the quietest the ground has been everybody was facing the big screen for the decision 
He's gone hard. There's a little bit of width from Shrebakta. Mohamed Sami is a very good athlete. Got there in a flash. It's close, but I think he's all right there. I think, yeah, he just flicks the ball away, doesn't he? As you say. Good athlete. So Abdul Razak continuing. So runs are still coming up in singles. Well, that one brings up the 100 for India. That's edged and taken. Extremely well by Mohin Khan. Abdul Razak strikes again for Pakistan. And India now looking down the barrel, 106 for six, Gavaskar departs. First wicket for Abdul Razak, it's another good delivery. Seems away from the left-hander, Ron Gavaskar never looked in, never looked confident in that innings. He was trying to work hard, trying to build a partnership with Dravid. And Inzamam's ideas have worked for the moment. They've got a wicket, they've kept the runs down, 106 for six, India. Beautifully timed. <laughs> Desperate time. Shard of Freedom, the man doing everything he could to try and catch up with that. Couldn't quite make it. That was a great shot. It was a tempted Yorker, but drifted to his leg side. And Rahul Dravid is very, very strong here. Afridi is behind it, and there was a desperate effort. He was nowhere near the ball. Straight to fielder, but as that just finishes, oh, very close. Let's see, third umpire been called. Looks very close. Whenever it's third, thumb, third umpire will call, it's always a very close call. Well, good piece of work, yes. Agarka called through for the run. It's Razak who's still in the thick of the action. Went uh, right in the middle of his fingers, and I think he's home. There's the verdict. Steve Button is the third umpire today. Slowed every this time with the off break action. And we've seen some better disguise than that over the years. We talked about Abdul Razak's slow ball, but uh, this one not quite so well concealed. Now, what uh, on earth has happened here? Now, I've Hardly ever seen Raul Dravid raise his voice or heard Raul Dravid raise his voice. Something has triggered that. Well, it's just a collision. Well, that happens in cricket all the time. And in comes the uh, referee. They're asking. Has there just been a little touch on the glove down the leg side? That was the question they were asking. Shake of the head gives the answer. But uh, Shev Akhtar has just raised the level here a little bit. That was a quick delivery. Almost 86 miles an hour. And let's have a look where it hit. Just the thigh guard. signal from the Empire so a half century for Rahul Dravid Rahul Dravid 50 not out 93 balls two fours it's been patient but he had no choice that was the situation he found himself in but he is a gutsy performer Rahul Dravid oh, he's hit that well and over the ropes with a backspin that's still got there Jay Garka, he can be named yes he can he can strike the ball that's for sure yes, he picked that slower delivery and uh, Midon was up just hit through the line that's what India need a few boundaries at this stage 
another single. It's good running. And that's good fielding, but it could be expensive. Well, Moen Khan is still asking the question. So Rudy Kurtzen is going to see how close that direct hit was. Direct hits tend to be very close. So this could be either wicket number seven or five to the total. Yes, yeah, just seeing the body language of the Pakistan fielders, uh, they know that these are extra runs. Bat comfortably in, the ball ricocheting off the stumps and going into the boundary. It's clubbed away, that'll be four. Who will target a three, do you fancy? Well, I certainly think so at this stage. Why wouldn't you? I think he's the man who will uh, take the chances now, Ajit Agarkar. Definitely is the man who will take the chances. And he's a good striker of the ball. India can get up to about 200. And they feel that they may just have an outside chance. Remember, this is a pressure match. It's a knockout. You know, here goes through to the semi-finals. He's got hold of that. That's come right out of the screws. Six for Agarkar. The crowd go berserk. One six six for six. This is a very good hit. It's not that short, is it? In fairness to uh, Friedi, he might well feel a little aggrieved here. That is onto the so quickly. He can hit the ball. I've seen him do it before. It's more than useful. And that's delicate, and that'll go for four. Linsenman has been stood at slip for quicker bowlers, not at this time. Four more, 170. The Indian crowd have not, not had a lot to shout about in this game, but they've come to life, about 15,000 of them. Certainly have, and uh, it's amazing how in an India-Pakistan match, uh, Match is really not over till uh, one team wins. If India get to 210, 200, 210 at this stage, and you pick up a couple of wickets early, anything can happen. Now that's superb placement. Very good cricket by Dravid. Well, I think the two last shots have shown the quality of Royal Dravid. The first four goes through first, it was quite deliberate, opens the face, and then this one he knows where the two men are on the leg side he is a good player just watch the way he's pacing this innings slowly shifting gears he's waited and waited and waited that's up in the air and it's taken and once again Navid picks up the wicket for Pakistan He's had a good day, two wickets in his first spell, and now the important one of Rahul Dravid. Massive wicket this. Good. Good. Ball out. Already on the front foot, Rahul Dravid, not expecting the bouncer. Clever bowling. He's impressed me. Dravid picks up his third wicket, and he's broken the partnership. That's the important thing. Raul Dravid's patient, a magnificent knock under the circumstances, comes to an end, he's gone for 67, it's 188 for 7. That's in the air, that's unlucky, he's found the fielder. The short fine leg was up in the circle, and Ajit Agarkar has hit the ball straight to Yusuf Johanna. <laughs> wow, this is unlucky. Very, very unlucky. First of all, it would probably have been a wide. It's a slower ball. It's down the leg side. And there's one man. And it, it, fortunately for Gaka, he didn't get hold of it. It was low on the bat. But his flurry has come to an end. 47 from 50 balls. It's 193 for eight. Now bowling the final over. Now that's up in the air. And will land safely. Both these bats when they throw their bat at everything. Well, this is the pace of show actor that uh, allowed them to get away with this. It's, not only is it an edge, but it's it's 
gone probably 60 yards with a long hang time. Which allows them to run two runs. I can't see too many deliveries pitched in Patan's half now. And back to the short stuff. I reckon. Slow ball. And it's worked for Shoaib Akhtar. India losing the ninth wicket and Johanna gets another catch. So change of pace doing the job for Pakistan. Wow, this is right off the toe of the bat. That's why it's gone nowhere and the reason for that probably the last thing that Pathan was expecting was the small ball. He couldn't get much further down the bat than that. It will go nowhere, it has gone nowhere. So Johanna makes no mistake whatsoever. It's a very good piece of bowling. The ninth wicket is down. Pathan has gone for six. It's 199 for nine. Shoy Bhakta to Harbhajan Singh now. Oh, that's a pretty awkward. Fast. On target. Lucky to get the single. Paul missing the stumps at both ends and both could have been out. Well, the best of all is Mohan Khan. Now he can see the funny side of this. He's had a throw. He's missed the stumps at his end. Harbhajan Singh is running away. Now watch what happens to the ball here. It clips him on the leg and almost deflects onto the stumps. Hannah does well to stop the overthrows. Everyone had to change direction. But it brought the 200 up, and that came in just 41 deliveries. So India doing well to reach 200. Oh, <laughs> it took his time, ran in two paces, looking for the direct hit. <laughs> Right, shall I? Will I get there before he runs back? In the end, nothing happens. I'm not sure that uh, the Indian batsmen are agreeing on the situation. Very excited, uh, inexcitable character, Harbhajan Singh. And now it's Nera, back on strike. That's in the air, should be taken. Comfortably taken by Afridi. An excellent performance by Shoaib Akhtar. He picks up his fourth wicket. And it's been a good performance by Pakistan. Good all-round performance in the field to restrict India to 200. That's off the... We saw the last dismissal off the bottom of the bat. This is off the top of the bat, right up near the splice. He goes absolutely nowhere. Freedy makes no mistake whatsoever. Show back to four wickets for him. Four for Nadi. They've wrapped it up. Harbhajan left. Not out. On three. Exactly 200 on the board for India with Rahul Dravid top scoring with 67. The innings that made the difference for India. Ajit Agar got 47 of 50 balls, and that's quite a recovery from uh, what India were doing in that first 15 overs. The three down for 28. Excellent bowling by the Pakistanis. Uh, best bowling figures for Navidul Hassan, nine overs, one made in 25 runs and four wickets. Shoaib Akhtar is best figures against India, four for 36 in his 9.5 overs. Overall, a superb bowling performance, barring Shahid Afridi's couple of overs. Pakistan is when they come out to bat, 201 runs to win from their 50 overs at 4.02 runs per over. We'll catch action at the start of the Pakistan innings. Here's the first ball. That's what Irfan Pathan is all about. A young man with a very mature cricketing brain starts off with a short pitch delivery. He usually bowls a very straight delivery, fuller in length. He gets that in swing most times on target, but starting off with a short one and surprising Yasser Hamid. Aged and Rahul Dravid has taken a simple catch. Identical start here. The Indians lost a wicket in the first over. The Pakistanis have done the same. 
What a game. Great delivery from Irfan Patan. Swinging away from Imran Farhat. He was not balanced when he was looking to drive it through the offside. He was on the move. And when the ball is swinging and you're not really established out there at the crease, then you've got problems. And it was a major problem for him. Aced it to the keeper. Gone for not Pakistan. One for one. It's played it nicely on the leg side. Ajit Agarka just uh, puts the ball back to field a player on. Gavaska does the cleaning up. Nicely played. It's going to be a long chase here or a sprint for Ashish Nehra. That's for, and that's not going to do a world of good for the spirit in the Indian team. That's the risk that uh, the bowler will have to take. There was an in-swing from Irfan Patan. Open area there, Ashish Nehra not doing a great job at all. Trying to stop that one with the boot. Pakistani supporters would want him to do that regularly. Didn't quite lose it, Saurav Gangli, with that effort. Is that edge? Yes, it is. Irfan Patan has struck for the second time in two overs. I tell you, this guy is a star in the Indian team for these reasons. What a spell of bowling. Shweb Malik will be disappointed. Good pace from him, good bounce from Irfan Patan and in the right channel. The ball bouncing a little bit more away from the body. Not a great shot from Shweb Malik. He's over the moon. What a beginning. He's walking back. After getting five Pakistan in trouble, ten for two. Driven, he's found the gap. It's a very short boundary on the side there. Yuvra Singh with the commitment there, but couldn't prevent the ball from going over the ropes. Oh my God, the scenario here is changing. Two wickets that the Indians have picked up. It just changed the equation a little bit. A bit of a counter-attack from Yasser Amid. Nice drive. He drives well in that area, square through the offside. Opening the face of the blade, letting the ball run down. That one went away very quickly. More in control of this shot. Sarah Ganguly with the fielding and an extra run. Not happy, sort of Ganguly. He's got to lead them from front. Concentrating on other things, I guess, then uh, looking after himself. That's a poor delivery. Not the place to bowl to Inzerman. That's a boundary and the record that takes him. Some closer, should I say, to that record, but not the place to bowl to him. I mean, he's a great player, one of the greatest Pakistan have produced was towards his leg side, and Inzi just playing it at ease. It shows how much time he's got, it shows the talent he has, and this is beautifully played. Gone for it, and it's straight down, fine legs. He juggles with it. That's just near it, juggles the ball. And there was a split second of silence from the crowd, then he hung on to it and it erupted. That's what I was talking about, inexperience. Short delivery, a bad delivery, it wasn't the greatest of all. He just hit it straight to the fielder. Short delivery towards his leg stump, and there was only one man there at fine leg. He could have played this easily on the ground as well, but no, Yasser Amir has to play big shots. A comfortable catch by Nera. In the end, juggled it, but it has gone for 15 from 29 balls. It's 27 for three. Well, there was a shout from the bowler. There was a start and then no shout and then a shout from behind.
there was a little noise somewhere or the other. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can detect that. Looked close. Keeper sort of keeper was a little late. Gaka went up. The keeper and everyone followed. Now that's powered away off the back foot. That's the first boundary for Johanna. Boundary after a long time. And that surely will raise the hopes of uh, the spectators. And also the team nicely struck by Yusuf Johanna. In the slot, a little bit of width. Yes, what Pakistan need is a, a partnership of sorts. They need to hang in there for the next 10-12 overs without losing a wicket. And the, the good news from Pakistan's point of view, I would say, is the sun coming out. It's been overcast up to now. And the ball has done a bit. It's been good conditions to bowl. But it can make a big difference when the sun comes out. It's amazing how the sting from the surface can disappear. These are consecutive boundaries now for Johanna. First one of the back foot on that last occasion just fractionally over pitched and he was onto it in a flash. He's a stylist, lovely player to watch. A beautifully constructed cut shot and in this nice drive through the offside. What a shot. That's a loose delivery and it gets the treatment. Just for a moment one thought he'd hold out into the deep. But the timing was there for the ball to go all the way for six. We've been talking about a stiff breeze blowing across the ground and now this shot would have helped that ball to carry over. And maybe away from the fielder. Good point from his, otherwise that would have gone down uh, that fielder's throat. That's uh, sweetly played. Exquisite timing, the footwork was good. Good boundary there for Yusuf Yohana in Pakistan. That was a fine shot from Yusuf Yohana. It was quicker from Harbhajan Singh. No flight on this occasion, just using the pace of that ball. And he does uh, play really well in that area, opening the face of the blade and letting the ball run away. Well, that's played late. Another boundary here for Pakistan. Well, that was intentional from Enzamam. What we got to see is, uh, was it a thick deflection? How close this one uh, was from Rahul Dravid. Not very close. He knew that there was no slip in place. So an excellent shot in the end from Enzamam. Full of confidence. Just opening the face of the blade and letting the ball run down. Harbhajan thought it was close. Yes, it was close. An edge. But that edge carrying the ball over for four. Oh, he's launched himself there. Third boundary of the over. This is a good one for Pakistan. And the pressure being put on Harbhajan Singh. A sudden counter-attack. This is excellent batting, not only from Yusuf, but from Enzamam. Risk-free, brilliantly uh, early to the pitch of that one and picked it up early to split the field on the onside. What a shot. That's mind games being played out there at the moment. Ganguly attacking with two men close in and has brought a reaction from the Pakistan players. A boundary for Yusuf, two boundaries for Enzamam. It's amazing how sometimes in the middle of a tight situation, uh, over like this can make the difference 20 overs gone 67 for three well he's finally got it 10,000 runs for Enzimam al Haq in one day international it's a major landmark this man has immense stature in the world of cricket not just his one day international runs but also his test runs as well uh, congratulations to him what a great player in Zaman has been with Pakistan. He deserves it. 10,000 one-day international runs. The first Pakistani to pass that record. What an achievement. And what a player he has been for Pakistan. 
Up is but safe. That's very, very deft. Lovely, delicate late cut. No one able to cut that one off. Nice finish to the over for Pakistan. 88 for three. Every run uh, greeted with excitement, let alone the boundaries. And there's only just that little bit of width. He's still looking for that turn, Harbert, and he got it there. But it was just a fraction short. No pace in the pitch. That is a great shot. One bounce into the fence. That's Inzi at its best. You just see the tension on the, the Indian captain's face. Not good for him to see this ball pump straight back down the ground, back over his head and into those uh, boundary boards for four. Straight away, he's going to go for four. That's not a good start for Sawag. Something of a gift for Inzimam. It was, it was slightly short, but Inzi was quick at it. Inzi just saw the length early, and he was at it in a flash. And that was a top shot between Midon and Midwicket. For four runs. More runs here too. Two poor deliveries to start the spell. And Gallagher on the boundary does well. This was again short delivery, but in the first shot was towards mid wicket, and second was just behind the point. Oh, he's edged it. And Jabba takes another catch, and at last in front, Patan gets some support from another bowler. Fourth wicket down. Well, just as we're saying, this partnership is swinging it very much back Pakistani's way. Well, Pakistan now going to start to, to rebuild. The captains, the big wicket, just looking to run the ball, gets it off the face of the bat. And old Dravid makes no mistake. India celebrate. The game is back on. Went past a milestone. 10,000 runs plus now in one-day internationals. He's gone for 41. It's 102 for four. After a successful launch in Italy, France, Spain and Scandinavia, now introducing in the United Kingdom, Wisecom. The best quality with lowest prices. Five pound best Asia cards give you Pakistan 40 minutes, India 52 minutes, Bangladesh Silhet 86 minutes and Sri Lanka 50 minutes. Be wise, choose wise, choose Wisecom. Beautiful drive, he should get two for this. Vivius Lakshman is the man in the deep. The 52 years of Yohana. Played really well. Just appreciating his effort, so all the Pakistani supporters. He has played very, very well. So the theory has worked for India. He kept the spinners on for Abdul Razak. Just couldn't restrain himself with that shot. Looking to cut against the spin. And Virendra Sehwag, who had a forgettable first over, has struck in a second. Well, it was there to play the shot. He's chopped it into the ground, onto the stumps. Abdul Razak. I well, was saying that he said it must not have a bad over, an expensive one. What's he done? He's got the wicket. After the Zach 
has gone for nine. It's 127 for five. Oh, that's pulled away. And it beats out Bajan. That is a very useful boundary at this stage of the innings. It was a control shot from Yusuf Johanna. He controlled it well. It was short delivery and was very, very nicely played. Roll of the wrist and Harbhajan tried well, but he was nowhere near the ball. A welcome boundary to Pakistan. That's in the air, taken! There you go. Just relaxing a bit. The weight really not onto the front foot and Jubrat Singh has pulled off a beauty. What a great catch from one of the best fielders in world cricket. And this is a very, very crucial wicket. It was placed slightly on the up, there was no movement at all. And he was in a start and what a catch that was. A beauty from Yovraj Singh. It could be a match-winning catch from Yovraj. Yes, the team gets into a huddle again. The balance shifts once again. Moin Khan goes for 10. Pakistan 152 for 6. Again in the air, that's a bold shot. A direct hit. Oh, what's going on there? Shahid Afridi has come out and uh, straight away there's uh, action out there. There's chaos everywhere. I've told you about Afridi. He's going to play his game. Doesn't matter what the circumstances. That was a stupid run. I mean, he was miles out. He hit that ball, middled it straight to the fielder and he just ran. Punches it off the back foot. 4,000 runs in one-day internationals for Shahid Afridi. He's gone for it and he's hit it mighty well. It's not just cleared the ropes, it's cleared the fence. It's back into the crowd. And Pakistan back in business. Shahid Afridi has hit his 167th six in one-day international. What a hit. Strong hit. Pressure back on India. That's over the top as well. That's a great shot. Well, it looks like Shahid Afridi wants to get this over and done with in a hurry. Beautiful striking. The power of the man, the power of the Pathan. Couple of big shots. This one even better than the first one. A little bit of turn, it's just brushed the thigh on its way down towards fine leg. It's another couple. A hobble there. He's aimed it at long on. He's found him. I've no idea what the conversation was between the two batsmen prior to that delivery, but that could not have been the plan. And the mercurial Shire of Freedy, he might have changed the course of this match, but he's also opened it up again now for India as well. This is uh, very ordinary cricket from Shahid Afridi. First ball that he faces from Yovraj Singh doesn't size him up straight down the throat of long on. But that is how he is. 25 from 12 balls, 187 for 7 Pakistan. Yusuf Yohana is asking the umpire whether he could have a runner now. I don't know whether they've uh, allowed the runner or not. Well, he's certainly signalling for it, and if he needs it, I guess he should have it, to be honest. And he's down. Well, the batsman's down, but uh, all those who are still capable have run through for the second. They're appealing for the LBW, but the ball is through, it's past the fielder. Pakistan have won this contest. Jubilation in the dressing room, there's jubilation all around this ground here at Edmiston. And it's Yusuf Yuhana who's seen them home, an innings of sheer quality. 
and persistence and it's needed stamina and we saw his stamina tested out there he's kept his cool he's kept his head and they're doing the decent thing out there handshakes all round this has been a tremendous game of cricket between India and Pakistan There we are, Pakistan getting to that target of 201 for the loss of seven wickets. Yusuf Yahana, the man for Pakistan.